how you guys have been able to get through adverse situations now that maybe in the past kind of kind of bit you and how are you much different in the conference final this time around than maybe you were two years ago? Well, we certainly have a lot more experience um, going through um, you know, the last couple of runs. Um, been in different situations, um, you know, holding leads, needing to come back, you know, whatever the situation. I feel like we've we've been in it the last couple of years and, and um, just obviously drawing on that experience and um, yeah, definitely a more mature group. We'll go uh, front left, Jeff. Uh, for both of you, what in particular about the Dallas defense makes it challenging to play against? Uh, I mean, obviously they're pretty deep back there. They got some elite players uh, led by Heisken. So uh, they move well, they skate well, um, they box out well, they, they do everything well. So it'll be a, a good challenge for us. We'll go uh, third row on the right, Ryan. Connor, after the last round, you had a week to kind of sit there and prepare. This time it's very different. Uh, while I'm sure maybe a few more days to heal up would be good, what, how do you think your group will handle the short turnaround maybe compared to the week that you had before and the pluses and minuses of each way? Well, I think the pluses and minuses are, 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 are fairly obvious. You know, um, sitting around for a week, your game can get a little rusty, and, and I thought we definitely showed that maybe a little bit in, early in, in, in the Vancouver series. Um, you know, and, and, you know, with us getting right back at it, um, you know, guys are, are still in, in, you know, game mode, um, you know, not much time uh, in between, but I feel like we're also rested. You know, the coaching staff's been great with, you know, giving guys, uh, you know, days where they need them. And, um, you know, I feel like we're rested and, and healthy and, and, uh, and ready to roll. Second row on the right, Josh. Connor, Evans put up some, some great numbers. I'm just wondering um, what you've seen from him, especially this season, and what he's like behind the scenes, because he doesn't give us a whole lot out here. <laughs> um, yeah, Bush is, uh, I said before, he's just getting better and better. Um, he's such a smart hockey player. Um, he's always learning. Um, you know, he, uh, he thinks the game at such a high level. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been impressive to to see and watch him, him, him grow that way. Um, as for off the ice, um, you know, he's a, he's a great guy, um, funny, uh, laid back, um, as you'd expect, you know, I think his, uh, his on ice demeanor matches his, uh, his off ice demeanor. The back right, Ryan. Zach kind of sticking with Evan Bouchard. What would you say you've sort of seen from him this season? Because, yes, on the power play, everyone talks about the shot, but his ability to facilitate on a team where everybody can facilitate, what's it like to see that part of his game grow and how maybe underrated is that part of his game? Yeah, I think it's, it's extremely underrated. I think um, the way he's developed on the defensive side of things, being able to break the puck out, being able to defend and not spend time in our zone, I think that's where he's probably taking the most strides offensively. Since he's been here, you could always see it. You can always kind of see whenever he gets the puck as a forward, you get excited because he's going to make a play. You, you know he's going to make a play. And then just I think just on the defensive side, you just have the trust in, in him that you know him and Eki, when they're back there, good things happen, and, and we break the puck up pretty cleanly. Second row on the left, Mark. You're the guy that gets the pleasure of standing in the low slot when Bouchard's unleashing <laughs> the shot. Um, I've heard people say that there's certain guys that they're easier to tip their shot because they shoot a certain way or anything like that. Does the fact that it's so hard but pretty accurate make it easier, harder? What's it like standing in there when he's firing away? Oh, um, I mean, I don't see it half the time. It goes so quick, it's hard to see. So I just try to stand there, and he's pretty good at picking a corner. Like if I'm standing in front of the goalie, um, he's usually going to pick a corner. So I'm not too worried. It's, it's when I'm off to the side, <laughs> when I'm in the way, that's when I get hit. Um, but yeah, he, he's got a, when he wants to make it tippable, it's tippable. And when he wants to boosh bomb, you're not tipping it. Fourth row on the left, Gene. Um, for both you guys, um, I know, I think fans, as you start to make your way through the playoffs, they think more and more about the cup. For you guys, does, do you think anything differently of it uh, prior to the first series now that you're halfway there? Or is it just you just realize you're, you're getting closer and it's, it's down to four and the odds get better and better? No, I think that, that that's been a lesson um, for our group from the past is, is um, you can't get too far ahead of yourself. Um, and you got to stay kind of in the moment, and especially playing against a team like Dallas, um, 
you know, they require all your attention and, and then some, and, uh, and they definitely have it. One more, Ryan. Connor, I don't mean this as Vancouver or Dallas necessarily. I mean more second round to third round. In what ways is this about to get a lot harder, just given you're around deeper and not much closer, and obviously everybody can sense it? Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel all that different um, or, or around the guys um, in the room and whatnot. You know, um, how's it going to get harder? Well, you're playing a team that um, – has, has won two series against two really good teams and is playing really well. Um, we're playing well. They're playing well. They're a great team, and, and um, we're looking forward to, uh, to the challenge of going, against, going up against a team like Dallas.